What's up, YouTube? This is King of the Randoms. And before I start the video, I would like to say thank you for the overwhelming support for this very small YouTube channel. In the past three weeks, I've gone from four subscribers to over 200. That's insane. I hope you enjoy the video and will continue to support the channel. Thanks again. In this video, I will be talking about security contracts from the recent The Contract DLC in GTA Online. Specifically, I will be talking about three methods for doing the vehicle recovery security contract at Humane Labs. I picked this one in particular because it is the longest security contract to complete outside of asset protection. Here you see me doing the no cooldown method that I have covered in a previous video. If you have not seen that video, I will be sure to add it in a link in the description below. In this first method, I will call this the default method, which uh, most people are probably doing to this day. Uh, you go in and you grab the van and as soon as you exit the lab, you go out and here comes the NPCs. They start spawning, um, you go and kill the first few and as soon as you return back to the van some more will spawn you go out and you start fighting them again and if you're as lucky as I am you will actually get taken out by them before you can uh, get the van and start heading back to the agency and here I actually got killed and spawned outside of the humane labs once I got back in I was able to get over to the van and start making my way back to the agency The second method, which I call the in and out method, is where you actually go to the van and go outside of the lab. As soon as you see the NPC spawn, you go back into the lab and then you go back out. Some more spawns, a second wave, and then you go back in and you do the same thing for all three waves. After the third wave has come, you can exit the lab without any problems and start heading back towards the agency. And the third method, which is probably the most fun out of all three, is when you actually get into the van and you're able to sneak past the first couple of NPC vehicles, have them chase you all the way back to the agency. As long as you don't let the NPC vehicles get all the way to the side or in front of you, you'll be okay. But uh, just in case, make sure you pull up your interactive menu and uh, grab some snacks if you need but uh, the good thing about this method is as long as you can keep them behind you they will ram the back of the van and it'll give you a slight speed boost all the way back to the agency now it doesn't save you a whole lot of time doing this method maybe about I'd say 30 or 40 seconds on average but it is definitely a way to do this mission a little bit faster I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. And uh, join in on the conversation in the comments below. There you can find additional info that may not have been included in this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.